Hey there. Uh, welcome to lesson five. It's actually the fifth part uh, uh, for the uh, for the classroom in a book series, and we're going to get right to this. We are going to unwarp these columns. So you need to first of all download and open columnstart.psd. It's a Photoshop document already. Uh, and you're going to pick File and Save As and change the name to uh, Columns Working. And please make sure that it is a Photoshop file. All right, Columns Working. Save that into your Photoshop One folder. Awesome. Okay, let me zip back out here. And... Uh, click on the background layer, go Command J or Control J if you have a PC, and we are going to change this to Distortion Fix. It is really good practice. I know that the textbook doesn't do this all the time, but it's really good practice to just create a new layer and work on that layer. That way you always have your original layer in here if you need to go back to it. Uh, Photoshop's not not like Lightroom. It's a destructive editor, so it saves over top of your previous work, and you can't get it back or your previous your original file. So, what are we going to do now? We are going to go to Filter and Lens Correction. Obviously, these columns are warped. They're warped by the lens. Uh, that it was using it was a wide-angle lens if taken from down below and up close that gives you quite a distortion make sure that you have auto scale image turned on and transparency uh, edge set to transparency also make sure that you have the preview and the grid is turned on once you're there go to custom and under Remove Distortion, you're going to go back and forth here. See what it does with the columns? Look at that. That's pretty cool, hey? So, you will notice that it, if you go back and forth, that's crazy. Way too much. You might want that at some point, but not right now. We're trying to make this a little bit more realistic. So, we're going to go up until we get the columns fairly straight. Now, here I am at 52. If you go a little further, you'll notice it warps it actually just a little bit. Okay, and so I want you to set this to 52. By the way, it once you're doing this slider back and forth, you'll notice it's still highlighted. You can just type 52. There it is. Okay, and uh, You'll notice that you've got a whole bunch of other little settings in here. Feel free to play around with them if you want and see what it does. Uh, but then set it back to zero because I just want you to have that set to 52. Also, if you go back to auto correction, you'll see if we change auto scale image back and forth, see, so it changes the amount. So basically, it's kind of like an auto crop. So that's why we have the auto scale image turned on. And then hit OK. There it is. So before and after. Before and after. Please save what you've done and submit it to Google Classroom.